you know, like intonation. The best thing for intonation, check with against open strings all the time, right? And sometimes I force people to do things way beyond their ability, like alternating fingered octaves. This I figured out on tour once, okay? Because in case you can't tell, I don't like to practice a lot. I like to practice really well. So I wanted to develop a warm-up for myself that would address warmth, flexibility, and center of pitch in 10 easy minutes. Um, so I thought, well, what do I do least well? I mean, that was honestly my first question. What do I feel least comfortable with? Octaves. Normal octaves or fingered octaves? Well, fingered octaves. Uh, in normal sequence or, or in broken thirds? Broken thirds. So I thought, okay, you masochist, that's what you do. And, and, and it works because there's just no way around it. That stretches the hand, it, and, it, and if you keep the fingers down, you're, you always have a reference point. And it's blatant if an octave is not in tune, but the key is to not vibrate. Because vibrato covers a multitude of sins <laughs> and changes pitch. Uh, so the, the rule is find the overtone in your instrument. Where the instrument is ringing, that's where it's in tune. So I always say, if you feel your fillings rattling, it's probably in tune. If something is shaking, that's a sign that it's ringing. Um, so that's how I deal with intonation. I mean, of course, scales in our favor, but not scales like, you know, with cartoons on. You know, pick, pick a scale of a piece that you're working on and make scales sound like music. In other words, don't play a scale with no inflection. Don't play an ar arpeggio without any kind of shape because you're not gonna, that's not going to show up in real music. You know, music is always confused. Every note is always infused with something. Some inflection, some shape, some dynamic. So practice scales in the way that you would practice phrases. Because practicing technique separate from music, I really don't believe in. Because I think if you practice, the way you play is the way you have practiced. If you've practiced mechanically, you'll play mechanically. If you treat a scale like a great melody, when it shows up in the Beethoven concerto, it will be a great melody. 